Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use the pop art Photoshop action. And before we get started, let's do a few examples. This Photoshop action will transform your photos into cool pop arts and you can use any photos like portraits, figures, architectures, inanimate objects. This action works pretty much with every different kind of photos. So you just need to open your image and mark your subject area like this and then run the action. It will create something like this. Let's view a few more examples. This is an example of an inanimate object. You mark the subject area like this and you will get something like this. Now this action comes with three different pop art pattern. So this is another example of a different kind of pattern that you will get inside this package. Here's a portrait. You'll get lots of customization option after you run the action. All layers and groups are editable. You can customize them as you like. Let's quickly browse through more examples. Okay. So we'll start with this image. So now we have our image loaded and before we get started we have to take care of a few things. So go to image mode and make sure your mode is RGB color and 8 bits per channel. Then click this flyout menu and go to panel options. Make sure use default masks on fill layers and add copy to copy to layers and groups are checked. Next regarding image size, this action works with images of size between 1500 pixels to 5000 pixels. Okay, uh, now one very important thing that you need to take care uh, is your brush settings. Select your brush tool and make sure opacity is set to 100% and flow is set to 100% and your mode is normal. Your opacity and flow must be set to 100% for this action to work correctly. And now let's load up our actions. To do that, go to File, Open, and navigate to your download package and select these three files. You should be selecting the brush file, the pattern file, and the main action file. And now click Open. These files should be loaded into Photoshop. And now you need to bring up your actions panel. To do that, go to Window, Actions. So here you have your actions panel and the pop art photoshop action has been loaded into the actions panel and here you can see this is the main pop art action and here are three additional options by running which you can quickly switch between the three different patterns which are provided into this package. Okay now let's mark our subject area. To do that create a new layer above your background layer and now let's mark our main subject so i'm now selecting the background layer and i'll be using quick selection tool you can use anything that you want paint tool magic wand tool anything that you feel like you can use it to quickly mask out your selection Okay, so once the selection is done, make sure you're selecting the new layer and you need to take any color and fill this selection. So here I want to recommend you one thing. If you are not going for filling this entire subject and you want to have an abstract look, you can try this. You can select the first brush from this pop art brush pack this brush number zero and you can use this brush to create a nice uneven 
edge for your subject selection. Now with that done, we are good to run the action. So we can select our main popper action and hit play. But before that, again make sure that your brush opacity and flow are set to 100%. So if everything looks good, select your main popper action and hit play. It will take some time for the action to finish processing. We'll fast forward from here and get back when it's done. Okay, so we have finished processing. And let's zoom in a bit to show you how it looks. Nice. Now I'll quickly run the different uh, additional actions and show you how it switches patterns. So as you can see, it's a whole new power pattern now. Let's try the pattern number two. Okay. And pattern number one is essentially the first pattern that you saw. Fine. Now let's uh, go inside these elements and see in detail what they have for us. First, here is the background elements and here we have the background base color. You can double click here and change the color to anything that you want. And here are different background patterns. You can simply toggle them on and off. Or you can change the color of this pattern to anything that you want. You can also select this custom background pattern, select this layer mask and paint with white to create your own custom pattern. As you can see. I'll keep this one for now. Yeah. So here is the image core. An image core is divided into different parts like this line art, highlights, light tones, mid tones, dark tones and shadows and base image. So first let's see what we have got inside the shadows. So here we have the shadow color. You can double click to change the color of the shadow. As you can see it's affecting the color of the shadow layer. And here we have the base image. The base image should be kept as it is. Next we have the dark tones. So for these uh, layers, dark tones, mid tones, light tones and highlights, there are three different variations that you will see. So these are like uh, different color ranges, like you have dark tone less, dark tone mid and dark tone more. The same goes for all these different variations of the color tones. So you can toggle anything, anyone uh, that you like. I'll show you here in the highlights, you'll be able to see the difference uh, properly. So this is highlights less, this is highlights mid, and this is highlights more. So you can see the difference that it creates. So you can uh, experiment and it depends on the image that you're running this action. So if it's a bright image, you may want to toggle this highlights more on. And if it's a very bright image, you may want to use the highlights less. So it, it's like your personal preference, how you want this uh, final composition to appear. You can experiment and see for your own. So here we have the midtones. So here in the midtones, what you can do is you can double click here and the pattern selection will come up and also the move tool will be selected. So you can drag this pattern and like you can also experiment here to like set the color tones according to your liking. And here you have the hue adjust. You can double click and you can change this hue slider to affect the pattern color. The same goes for this mid tone less and mid tone more. Next we have the light tones. Here also it's the same thing. You can double click to change the color of these light tones. And here is the highlights. You can also change the color of these highlights. But I would keep it white for now. Next we have line art. So here you can change the color of this line art. You can 
toggle the visibility of this color fill layer on and you can double click and you can change the color so let me zoom in a bit so that you can see properly so now if i change the color to red you can see that the line art is changing color so you can change the color of the line art to anything that you want Next we have additional elements, here we have fragment 1 and fragment 2. You can also paint on the layer mask with white to show parts of the fragments. Next we have 20 color adjustments. You can simply toggle the visibility of these layers and apply the color effect that are predefined in this action. Next we have overall adjustments. So overall hue saturation, overall gradient map. You can play with the blending mode of this gradient map and can see interesting results. Here is overall color fill. Overall brightness and contrast, overall levels and overall curves. So that's it pretty much for the pop art photoshop action hope you like this one see you soon